Hello everybody, my name is Fatima Hakiki. Our paper is about semantic genesis, which aims to learn semantics and rich representation by self-discovery, self-classification, and self-restoration. Medical imaging protocols typically focus on particular body parts for specific clinical purposes. This results in images of similar anatomy across different patients. For example, chest x-ray images, they all look similar. So, given an annotated image, the same anatomical patterns can be found in the other image samples as well. These consistent and recurrent anatomical patterns carry rich semantic knowledge about the human body. So, they can serve as a free yet a strong supervisory signal for deep models to learn common anatomical representations via self-supervised learning. Semantic Genesis utilizes the consistent and recurrent anatomical patterns by self-discovery, self-classification, and self-restoration to learn the semantics of anatomy in medical images. Self-discovery is to build a set of anatomical patterns from medical images. To do so, we first train an autoencoder to extract the deep features of each patient. Then, we randomly select a scan as a reference and search for its nearest neighbors according to the latent representations. After that, we select a unique random but fixed coordinate and crop patches across this set of similar patients. We assign a unique class label to these similar anatomical patterns. We then take another random coordinate and crop patches around it, which form our class number two. Similarly, we do this for classes three and four, which are shown here in green and red, respectively. Even though there are only four classes shown in this example, in our study, we do this for multiple classes each representing a unique anatomical pattern. Anatomical patterns carry rich semantic knowledge about the human body. For example, these four samples of anatomical patterns carry local information of anterior ribs 2 to 4, anterior ribs 1 to 3, right pulmonary artery, and left ventricular. Our self-discovery process results in a new dataset of such patterns associated with their semantic labels. The second component is self-classification. It aims to classify anatomical patterns based on their semantic labels, which have been obtained through our self-discovery. Given an anatomical pattern, we first transform it and then feed it into the model. Let the model predict its pseudo-label. Our self-classification consists of an encoder and a classification head. The input is the anatomical pattern and ground truth is its pseudo-label. By classifying the anatomical pattern, the model learns semantics and rich representations from recurrent anatomical patterns. The last component is self-restoration, which is a simple image restoration task. Given an anatomical pattern, we first deform it and then feed it to the model to restore the original pattern. We adopt the VNet structure, which is an encoder-decoder architecture with skip connections in between. The input is the deformed anatomical pattern and ground truth is the original anatomical pattern. By restoring anatomical patterns from various image transformation, the model learns from multiple perspectives, for example, texture, boundary, and local continuity. 
In semantic genesis, we combined our self-classification and self-restoration together to let the model learn complementary representations. As seen, the combination of self-classification and self-restoration consistently shows the best performance across all four 3D target tasks in comparison with training from a scratch and each individual component. The stars represent the significance of the results. Semantic genesis is built on top of models genesis, but it represents a significant advancement from models genesis in the following two ways. First, models genesis is designed as a restoration task, so it learns representation from random subvolumes with no semantics because it is not possible to discover semantics from random subvolumes. Semantic genesis shares the self-restoration component with models genesis, but it introduces two novel components, self-discovery and self-classification, to learn semantics from consistent and recurrent anatomical patterns. So, our semantic genesis outperforms models genesis in several 3D medical applications. As seen, the red bar is our semantic genesis and the light pink one is model's genesis. The second difference is that model's genesis is just a self-supervised learning method, but our self-discovery and self-classification components should be considered as an add-on because they can be added to other self-supervised learning methods to enrich their representations. To show this, we added self-discovery and self-classification to three popular self-supervised methods, including in painting, shuffling, and models genesis. As seen, each semantics enriched model outperforms the corresponding original model across four 3D target tasks. Our extensive experiments demonstrate that semantic genesis outperforms existing pre-trained model for 3D medical image analysis. We compared semantic genesis with recent self-supervised methods, including in painting, shuffling, Rubik's cube, and models genesis. As seen, semantic genesis outperforms all methods across four target tasks. The statistical analysis shows semantic genesis outperforms previous state-of-the-art method. Furthermore, we compared semantic genesis with three publicly available supervised pre-trained 3D models, including NiftyNet, MedicalNet, and i3D. Our results show that semantic genesis outperforms supervised pre-trained models across four target tasks because supervised pre-trained models use limited amount of labeled data in pre-training. But semantic genesis is trained on large scale unlabeled images. The statistical analysis is shown between semantic genesis and the second best method in each target task. Based on our extensive experiments, we envision that semantic genesis can serve as the primary source of transfer learning in 3D medical imaging because it outperforms 3D models trained from a scratch, 3D models pre-trained by self-supervision, and 3D models pre-trained by full supervision. For more information, please join us for the poster session. Thank you.